Hello again. Uh, now this is uh, the same device as usually, but uh, now it's uh, it's programmed to calculate out a 64-bit combination. So what it's doing right now is that it's trying all possible combination in 64 bits. So that's well, I can't tell you how much it is. It's like. Uh, very, very much. <laughs> it's like this much actually. Take two. This is how many combinations you can get, and uh, that's what this is doing right now. It's been going all night, and it's um, well. If you can read the small bars here, it's uh, about over three millions. I have calculated because. Uh, this is 256 uh, when the first byte reached 256 and this is second byte had reached about 130 and uh, the third byte had re reached about maybe 64 or something and there are still five bars to go that should be full when it, uh, when it's finished so it's been going all night as I said it's uh, that'll maybe be like seven hours and uh, the microchip pick is uh, overclocked to its uh, hardware limit so it uh, it has a four me uh, th 32 megahertz uh, oscillator here but it's programmed to be in 4 megahertz mode and uh, the PLL enabled but um, as it looks right now, I can give up. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a very, very long time before it reaches the end of this. So what I can show you is uh, how it starts up. It's a little bit... Uh, unstable when it's over the clock. That's why it wouldn't start. So now it's starting all over again. As you can see when it reached here it uh, increases here. Yes. So the <laughs> What we have, what we can see is that the PIC microcontroller, even when it's uh, overclocked to, to its maximum, isn't a very good code breaker.